Hello everybody, Lurgs here. Welcome to my channel. I'm here to save you time and money. And today it's the LG washing machine, the dispenser drawer compartments and what goes in what compartment. I don't know about you, but I'm always forgetting what goes in what compartment. Right. Let's get cracking. If you want to, you can use these pods and these go straight inside the drum, in which case you don't have to worry about the dispenser drawer compartments as the dispenser drawer will get dirty over time. This is the LG washing machine here and the dispenser slash detergent drawer is over here on the top left hand corner. So let's just pull it out and we'll start going through what the different compartments do. In here, you've got three compartments and the first compartment is compartment number two. Now this is where you put your main washing detergent. This can be liquid or powder. I actually prefer using liquid detergent and depending on how much laundry you've got in your washing machine depends how much detergent you actually use. But generally it's between 30 to 75 milliliters. Now don't overfill the detergent, otherwise you can create too many suds and this can actually damage the motor. And also your laundry won't get washed very well. This compartment on the right hand side, labelled number one, is where you put your pre-wash detergent. If your LG washing machine has a pre-wash function, it uses this for any heavily stained clothes. So if you've lent your boxer shorts to Chewbacca, they might come back a bit soiled and you might want to use the pre-wash function. And this middle compartment here is for the fabric softener or any additives or fragrances or starch or any brighteners, etc. Now make sure you never ever go above the maximum level indicated on the level indicator. Otherwise this can cause early dispensing of the fabric softener and it could stain your clothes. Now anything in this compartment will be automatically added during the last rinse cycle. Now it's important if you do use the dispenser drawer that you give it a good clean every couple of months. So just push down on this button here and remove the dispenser drawer. Then you can just put it in the sink with some hot soapy water and just give that a really good clean. Get rid of any mold or gunk. And also if you look inside the dispenser drawer area here, you can see how dirty and disgusting they get. So you definitely need to keep on top of this and give this a good clean. Now I find the easiest way to clean the dispenser drawer and the inside here is to take your partner's toothbrush. Lugs, have you been using my toothbrush for cleaning the washing machine again? Um, no. And just use that to give it a really good scrub. There's a link above now about what to do if your washing machine is not draining water. And eventually it should look like this one in tip top sparkling condition. Now it's also worth cleaning the inside of the dispenser drawer area here, but make sure you block up that hole with a cloth because you do not want to drop the toothbrush down that hole. Otherwise you'll be in a world of pain. And this is what it should look like after you've finished. Then you can put the dispenser drawer back in. And then I definitely recommend after about 30 washes that you run a hygienically fresh washing program. And there's a link above now about how to do that. And now it's time for a lovely cup of tea. Oh, if you found that video useful, please subscribe by pressing this button down here so you don't miss more videos on how to save you time and money. There's also some other videos around the edges of the screen here. If any of those are useful to you, then you can select those now. Thank you for visiting my channel, everyone. I really, really appreciate it.